Hey guys, it's Mark from North 7 Outdoors. Welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to talk about tour stop number two, which is Jack Lake. We're back in the towel room though. Um, I've had to do major renovations to my house. So this is the only room that was somewhat finished, so everything got thrown into here. But now I have a dumpster bin outside, so everything got thrown back in the dumpster. Uh, the rod racks are empty because all the rods are downstairs where they should be, closer to the boat. My tackle wall is still here. A few openings are available, but that's all for uh, Tackle Warehouse's Black Friday video. So, Jack Lake in Apsley, Ontario. Not something I would recommend doing is fishing a tournament on a lake you've never been to before or hadn't pre-fished at least once that year. And I did all of that, but you know, it wasn't a very big tournament. And I like fishing tournaments, and I like exploring new bodies of water. So I got to knock two off the list there. So I'm not really sure what the clips are like. I've got to edit all these videos tonight. Just going to fire them out. Because this upcoming weekend, I have a two-day tournament, which is the closest uh, professional fishing I'll ever get, which is fishing multiple-day tournaments, which is pretty crazy uh, and fun and exciting. And terrifying. Um, so I'm not sure what the Jack Lake clips look like. I caught a pile of smallmouth. So without further ado, here are some clips from Jack Lake. My first time fishing it at tournament stop number two. Hey guys, it's Mark from North 7 Outdoors. We're Welcome back to another episode. We're on Jack Lake today. Never been here. Fishing a tournament. So not the smartest idea to fish a tournament on a lake you've never been. But let's try and make it a fun, productive day. Alrighty, first fish of Jack Lake, feels like a smallie, feels like a good, no, not very good smallie, but smallies are in here, didn't even know they were in here. Okay, calm the heck down, just gotta get me a 12 pound smallie and we'll be set. We we'll sitting pretty. Okay, just gotta find one five pounds bigger, I'm happy. Go back, just throwing our little rock shoal point there. There's some rocks that stick out. We're in excess of deep water. Now I know there's small mills in here, so should. Bring a KVD Dream Shot in dirt color, magnum size, which is like an extra half inch, so it's a five inch lure. Um, just drop shotting an island. I'm in deep water fishing some docks. Hoping to get some smallies. That one might keep though. No, he's not gonna keep. Maybe he won't. He's got some weight. Number two. Will you be 12? Will you be 12? You might be 12. <laughs> yeah, might be 12. Let's see what we got here. Probably not. You're chunky though. No, you might be 12, but I'm not going to count them. Something's got it. He might be 12. Oh, he's right around a cookie cutter 12, I think. But when you don't have any in the box, oh, that got me. I really need to bring some pliers up here. Come on, 12 and a half, 13. 
Okay, this one's definitely 12. <sighs> Who knows? Okay, so having never been here before to this lake, you see that murky buoy. So it tells me that the bottom comes up a lot. So there's a transition there. So I decided to fish around that. On my way to the background, you see the creek channel or some type of channel I'm working my way to. I decide to stop and fish this buoy. So this was a feisty little smallie, just over two pounds probably. Um, dropped him there, but it's okay. I got him back in the live well, and he was good to go. So I fished the rest of that channel. Don't catch anything. So I'm looking on my GPS here, figuring out what kind of contours I think would hold fish. And I decide just kind of go explore with the big motor. Inches, but my first Jack Lake largemouth through the whopper plopper through the frog. Didn't get anything. Thick weed mat there. That guy might be 12 where he's stuck in the weeds. Probably 13. So we got here. Yep. All right, number three. Three smallmouths. Even though I'm fishing like six feet of water. Still. Always have reset time and this is my reset time have a sandwich um, think retie leader lines retie lures um, change up lures based on what I see so this is always like my halfway point it usually comes earlier in the day like if a tournament's nine hour day my halfway mark for reset is usually three hours into it because within three hours I'll understand a little bit more about the lake what I want to use uh, what I'm looking for uh, to fish. So we're going to end it here. Thank you guys for watching part two.